Well, um, hello everyone, dear all. I think we are ready to start our practical seminar today. Despite the fact that it is open doors event for our master program, uh, Applied Statistics with Network Analysis, we have a practical session today. We have our guest speaker, but before we proceed to the practical part, we would like to welcome you. And first of all, I will give floor to the academic supervisor of the program, uh, Ivan Klimov, please, Ivan Alexandrovich, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Irina. Uh, good evening, colleagues. And um, uh, let me start uh, our conversation today, our meeting. And uh, I want uh, to tell a few words about uh, the master, master's program. Uh, you know, the main idea uh, uh, that we are developing uh, the program is uh, to provide a fairly wide range of tools for statistical data analysis to acquaint with uh, an approaches in demand in the uh, professional practice uh, of an uh, analysts. Uh, we strive uh, to make statistical methods uh, an uh, assemble tool for those who work with data or who want to start doing it. And um, uh, the program is designed not only for undergraduate students, we are joined by established uh, specialists from different fields. Uh, and uh, in fact, our program performs the function of uh, professional upgrade and uh, development of uh, professional knowledge and uh, skills and competencies. Mm, uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, in terms out of the uh, profile of our students um, is inter uh, interdisciplinary and uh, uh, also even uh, uh, cross function and um, mm, um, I think that uh, one of the most important features of our program uh, is its applied nature. Uh, you will learn from uh, real data, from real research materials, and respond to current requests from uh, our colleagues uh, who work in the research and analytics industry. And uh, 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 the profile, uh, profile of our program, program is designed uh, to help you to combine work and uh, study uh, and we really want uh, you to have the opportunity immediately apply tools and techniques uh, that you have learned. Uh, moreover, uh, while learning, uh, you can use your own data sets and uh, also you can solve your working tasks uh, with the help of uh, my colleagues. Uh, and uh, uh, I think the uh, uh, the the the, the th uh, third feature of our program uh, is um, the focusing on uh, network analysis. Uh, this is uh, the heart of our skills, and uh, this is the center of our competences. Um, uh, that's uh, that's why the master program uh, is implemented by the International Laboratory of Applied Network uh, Analysis. Uh, so, uh, leading experts in the field of uh, network analysis uh, were the founded of uh, founders of our laboratory, and now they remain with us as uh, tutors, as uh, scientific supervisors, uh, and uh, 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 like our colleagues. Uh, and. Uh, um, uh, it's great, and uh, we are very proud uh, that we manage uh, to maintain such uh, an intellectual and professional foundation. Uh, uh, so uh, we offer a fairly wide range of disciplines. Uh, they differ in uh, their complexity, uh, but uh, you can choose uh, both a basic level and more complex advanced uh, one if you feel uh, confident uh, enough in the topic. Uh, so we will help you create uh, your own individual curriculum. Mm, and uh, this is uh, will allow, uh, allow you to collect the courses that are necessary uh, for you and 
um, uh, for your uh, ideas for a uh, future career. Uh, there are several compulsory disciplines in the program and a large number of elective courses. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I can uh, tell uh, a lot more about tutors and about my colleagues and about the program uh, as well. However, uh, now we should uh, move to uh, more practical things. And uh, uh, I think uh, we can start our uh, next part uh, of uh, this meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ivan Alexandrovich. So I will proceed very quickly with very general information about the program. So it is available in details in the recordings uh, from the previous events, online events. So right now I will just very briefly recap uh, about the program. So we have our program, two years master program. So this is full-time degree, a master of applied statistics with network analysis, but it is implemented within the so-called educational direction, applied mathematics in informatics. So this program is fully taught in English. So first of all, we think about this educational direction, and then we have this specific um, name of the program, which where we pay attention, a lot of attention to applied statistics and definitely our specific feature for the program. This is the methods, methodology for network analysis. Uh, we have a different research and educational tracks. So we have business analytics and computational social sciences. So these are trajectories or tracks which are chosen by the students during the first year uh, of their studies because uh, these are uh, the research seminars that students choose from during the first year. So this is uh, either business analytics or computational social sciences, which is more likely to be PhD track, the preparatory um, courses, I would say, preparatory trajectory for PhD studies. And during the second year of the studies, we have social network analysis track, research seminar, which is compulsory for all the students. So um, uh, we address and uh, we focus on developing, enhancing different skills. Those are skills within statistical disciplines, mathematical disciplines, programming skills, definitely, and uh, applied data analysis. And certainly, we work with network analysis. I think you have seen already this information about the educational component. We have general component uh, about which is about compulsory courses for everyone. We have quite a significant pool of elective disciplines available for our students. And we have this practical or applied part uh, about research and consulting, which includes uh, research seminars, project seminars, the course in statistical consulting, internship, and definitely work on your research project, which will be implemented within term paper and master thesis. Uh, we have this timeline for application. This is open and you are welcome to apply for the program. So we um, collect the documents and the assessment for the enrollment for the application into the program is based on the portfolio. So here you see the elements of the portfolio and uh, definitely you submit them uh, within the system online and also we schedule um, when you apply with the documents. After that we schedule an interview in English. So here we have just some pieces of information about the payment and discounts available for the students. And I think that is briefly that, that that's all as, as a quick recap. And I will just announce some uh, additional pieces of information. So something new. Right now we have Telegram channel created, which is called Masna Admissions, and we post there the most important information about events and publications, and we uh, answer some questions, so we post information there, so you're absolutely welcome to join this channel, and also uh, another piece of announcement, so we are planning in July summer school, which is called 
methods and tools for social network analysis. This will be one week event. It will be held in English and online. It will be the first part of July. As soon as we schedule the dates for the event, we will publish on the web page of Masna program and also in our new Telegram channel. And I think we will also make some announcements during the second event. So as soon we get uh, as soon as we get the entire program compiled, uh, we will announce that and you will be able to enroll in this uh, summer school. So it will be open for everyone. It will be free of charge. And we will try to arrange the program and to show different approaches and tools and programs of way programs which can which we can use for social network analysis so that will be the major focus of our program for in, during the summer school i think that i will stop here and uh i'm ready to give the floor to our main speaker with their practical part the most interesting one, I believe, that you all came for today. So please, uh, Lika, your the floor is yours. You're welcome to show your screen. Yes, so here we are. So I turn off my microphone and it's your turn to speak up. Uh, thank you so much. So my name is Lika Kapustina. I'm a research assistant at International Laboratory of Applied Network Analysis here at the High School of Economics in Russia in Moscow. And today we're going to talk about to how to analyze your fence network with a social network analysis. Uh, and uh, we will try to scrape our data and um, so make our network uh, using uh, web scraping, using networks package uh, and gave away. So first of all, we will talk about the social networks and what data can be used to build social networks. After that, we will talk about the web scraping methods for collecting data. Lika, just, just a second, just a short interruption. So we have uh, a request in the chat, maybe just to talk a little bit louder. So uh, first, one second, um, I will try to get talk louder. Yes. Yes, uh, so uh, in the next section, we will talk about web scraping methods for collecting data from social network contacts uh, with uh, the IP using Python. And after all, uh, we will uh, talk about how to create network object using networks package for Python and GFLA. So first of all, uh, let's talk about social networks and uh, what data can be used to build social networks. It's worth uh, saying a few things. Firstly, networks are really different. We can talk about networks of human relation, networks in biology, uh, networks of trades, uh, but today we will, go on, we will uh, talk only about social network analysis. And uh, what, are some, uh, what are some examples of social networks? Uh, we can talk about quarantine families, uh, historian John Padgett reconstructed the relationships between the famous families of 14th and 15th century of, uh, in the Florence using historical documents and his data were subsequently processed by Breger and Patterson. And these data are now very often used as data sets to train networks, network analysis skills. Uh, so uh, usually we analyze the data on uh, quarantine families' uh, marriages and uh, trades between them. Um, Another example, uh, romantic, romantic relations uh, in Jefferson High School. Uh, so here we have another classical example, romantic relations in Jefferson High School. We can see the structure of the romantic and sexual network in populations of over 800 adolescents uh, residing in a mid-sized town. Sorry. Okay, uh, I think I can continue. Yeah. Uh, and for example, we can see some another network here. It's a network from the Twitter. Here we can see the uh, image of uh, Twitter accounts of some users. And we will make something similar, but on Fantaxi data. Uh, and these are class classical sets of ready-made and pre-processed data from which a network can be created. And if you join the master program, you will often hear about a term such as adjacency matrix. Using an adjacency matrix, you can create network data. So let me explain with an example. So here we have uh, some table. We have uh, nodes 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And also we have some table uh, with uh, rows uh, and uh, columns. For example, uh, node 0 has a value 1 on its row in column 4. And this means that uh, there is an edge between uh, 0 and node 4. Here we can see the edge. 
And also we can see the uh, presence of H and absence of H, for example, between four and five H. Uh, no, uh, yes. Uh, but uh, in addition to standard data sets, we can also use data that we have collected ourselves. For example, data about our friendships and friendships of our friends in social networks. So let's talk about it more. Yeah, in this section, we will talk more about web scraping methods for collecting data from social network contacts. Uh, and here we will talk about web scraping technologies. Uh, what does it mean? It is a set of techniques by which you can, using programming languages, uh, get data from open sources, uh, such as social networks, websites, in general, from uh, web pages. Um, let's uh, bring some examples. So what can uh, so what data can we uh, gather using web scraping? For example, uh, you can uh, web scrape data from the uh, on the products on the online shop site. Uh, you can uh, scrape data on the uh, election results from the Central Electoral Commission website, uh, is known as CIP in Russian. And also, in general, you can get uh, open data from social media pages. And social media data is just what we need. Uh, so, um, how can we get data from social media? The short answer is through an IP. And what is an IP? Uh, we have a lot of terms here, but it's very important to um, understand what it, what it is. So IP, if we try to formulate it uh, short and quickly, it is a set of methods provided by the source uh, site itself, such as contact IP uh, from social media, for example, through which we can retrieve data from the service with a specific request. So for example, Twitter has its own IP, but Hunter has, has its own IP. And so uh, Fantaxia, the most popular Russian social media, has its own IP, which is called VK IP. Yes, uh, and how to use Fantaxia IP? First of all, Fantaxia has a special page for VK IP methods. Um, let's, yes, um, I, I don't know how to zoom a uh, page a little bit. Maybe I can do something like this. Yes, but- uh, This is, yeah. Yes, a little bit closer. It was great as you moved, zoom, zoomed in before. Uh, let's go to the VK IP. Let's just check uh, some things in it. Yeah, uh, I will do this uh, in the Chrome uh, because of some technical problems with file. Uh, so what do we have here? Here we, we have VK IP. Uh, some basic information about IP, for example, information about JSON scheme uh, about version of IP and also methods of IP. Here we have uh, a lot of methods that can, we can use. For example, methods for account. Uh, you can make something with your account using the IP methods. For example, ban something or get uh, info about your account. Uh, also, you have uh, a lot of uh, possibilities uh, that uh, can be uh, used with uh, the IP. For example, you can make some with uh, the NAS system with your uh, communities. Uh, you can collect data on your friends. You can collect data on groups. You can collect data on likes, messages, and news feeds, and so on. But today, we will need uh, our friends methods. And here, we have a lot of methods for uh, working with friend data, but here we have the main methods. And I think the main method uh, for all of the uh, big methods, uh, method get. Uh, so here we have get methods uh, and some parameters uh, on it. And now let's go back uh, to other uh, item notebook. Yes. So first of all, before we will use the IP, we need uh, to get our token. Uh, I will not stop uh, on this um, stage because uh, it takes uh, maybe five uh, to 10 minutes and it's not really necessarily because we wanted to uh, give an example how we can work this, uh, collect our own data and work with it. Uh, but here we have uh, a short and readable instruction uh, on Russian. Uh, and let's just note, uh, you need to spend five to 10 minutes uh, executing these instructions. And as a result, you will have a certain string. By the string, uh, it's called a token. So uh, it will start from uh, with a one uh, string. Uh, after that, you will see a lot of numbers. Uh, string expires in a uh, number of seconds that um, 
your token uh, will last and also your contact ID number. Yes, uh, so um, I got my uh, token. Um, I also can read it from my uh, local file. I will not provide my token for you because uh, it's not uh, secure for my <laughs> contact profile. Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, but uh, you can use uh, my code here, uh, use this instruction, get your token and some uh, experiment with uh, the time methods for yourself. Yes, uh, and first of all, uh, we need to import some uh, important uh, Python packages, such as requests, numpy, date time, uh, time, pandas, tkdm, rare, math, and words. Uh, so uh, if you have some problems, uh, you can run this cell. Uh, you just need to uh, insert the actual name of package here. For example, if you have problems with uh, import uh, pandas, you just need to uh, write a uh, install pandas uh, and uh, your problems will be solved. Uh, so, yes. Yes, uh, so let's imagine that we got uh, my ID. Uh, my token, and also we need to specify the version of the IP. The actual version is uh, 5.131. Uh, yes. Uh, and so here we have uh, the page with friends get method. Uh, and let's talk how to use uh, contact uh, uh, the IP method for getting some data. So, first of all, and we need to specify the method that we are using. Uh, in this example, this, this is the friends get. After it, we need the user ID. It's my own user ID uh, and uh, some parameters. Uh, in this example, it's just count equal uh, 500, which is means that we can uh, that we want to get uh, the maximum uh, number of friends that uh, Fondaxi API allows us uh, to get the 500 of uh, possible friends. And then we have a more or less universal formula for acquiring the backup. We have as a all uh, HTTPS IP backup form method. After that, we need to insert the method uh, that we specified before. Uh, after that, the question mark and parameters. Parameters we have here, uh, version of the IP, access token that we uh, read before, and user ID. In this example, my user ID. So uh, we can run this cell, and what uh, do we will uh, have? So we have uh, some JSON object. We will not talk about JSON, but uh, it's just some uh, type of collection in Python, or you know, just uh, some format uh, of file that you can work with. And here we have a response uh, found, uh, which means the five hundred. Uh, 93 uh, is uh, the number of friends that uh, I have in the contact and items. What do we have, uh, what do we, uh, have here in items? It's just my uh, contact your friends uh, IDs. For example, these are uh, all of my uh, friends IDs. But what if we uh, want to take an additional information, not only my friends IDs, but uh, something more? Uh, we can scroll down documentation and look at the fields field uh, and uh, we can see the information that, that we can obtain uh, using uh, some uh, other uh, parameters. For example, we can uh, scrape some data on city, on contacts, on country, on domain, education, etc. Uh, all of the things you can see here. Uh, how to do this? Uh, so first of all, uh, use the previous method, friends get, use your uh, user ID, as I uh, used before, but uh, you have some extended parameters. First of all, uh, you use uh, count equal 5,000, which is means that you want to take um, the maximum number of uh, the uh, account of the data on the accounts that um, the IP allows you uh, to scrape. Also, after that, you always need uh, to specify the extended uh, equal one, uh, which means that you want to uh, get some extended information. Uh, and after that, uh, you can specify the fields uh, or the information that you want to, to scrape from your friends' uh, accounts. Uh, in this example, it is the birth dates, city, country, uh, sex, domain, uh, and so on. Yeah, and so after uh, after that, we can use uh, the same uh, 
the same method uh, for uh, getting this data. Uh, we have our URL. After we have the methods, parameters, version, uh, token, uh, and my username. Yes. And so uh, after we will run this cell, uh, we will have uh, this type of information. Uh, it is the JSON file. And what do we have here? Uh, first of all, we uh, don't have the, all of the IDs of my friends. Uh, we have data on them. So uh, here we have the count and the number of friends that I have uh, on my contact page. And after that, in the items, we have uh, information about my friends. For example, my first friend here is the Igor Yurescu. Uh, previously, uh, he teached uh, something in the higher school of economics in Russia. It was uh, my um, it was my teacher on political science uh, research methods. Yes, uh, so we can also uh, see uh, his ID. Uh, his domain is a short name for contacts. So, you know, if you want to uh, give give something your address, you can uh, use the short name, not only the ID uh, in your um, page address. Uh, we can see uh, that uh, he was born in 1988 and some other information about his account. And also we have information about other my friends that you can uh, see here. Yes, uh, so it will be our main data that we will uh, use for making the uh, network uh, and also to analyze uh, it. Um, but let's talk about some objects that we can see in our response. For example, uh, if we want to uh, get the response, one second, uh, yes. yes. Uh, so if you want to look at the uh, some contents in the response. We need to specify the response in the uh, square brackets. Uh, after that, we can um, use and uh, specify the items, which means that we can uh, work with some data on our friends. And after that, we can use um, indexes. Uh, so for example, we can get data on the first friend in this list, on the second friend in this list, and on the third. Uh, whatever, uh, which number you can use, you can uh, see some information in it. Yes, um, and so we will uh, work with uh, this, um, uh, we, we will work with this response uh, object uh, to make some network data, but um, I will, I won't go into great details about the specific of API and uh, making a network here, uh, but if you want to uh, make a network uh, of your own contacts, your friends, you can use code uh, that I uh, used before, below. Uh, it is all uh, Python code that you can see here. Uh, and also you can uh, visit your own uh, contact here. So can get info about your friends. So uh, in general, we will have something uh, like this. We will have the pandas data frame. Pandas is uh, one of the famous uh, Python uh, libraries for uh, data analysis, uh, data preprocessing, uh, with information about my friends. And also uh, we need to specify here that there is uh, information only about friends, uh, my friends, friends of my friends and uh, friends of my friends that are my friends too. <laughs> yes, uh, so we will work with uh, this network. And about uh, next section, just let's remember these terms. So first of all, uh, we used some web scraping techniques. It is a set of techniques by which you can use in programming languages such as R, Python, or another, C++ if you want. Uh, get data from open sources such as social networks, websites, in general, uh, all of the possible web pages. Uh, IP, it is a set of methods provided by the source itself. For example, Twitter IP, Contact IP, Facebook IP, uh, and so on, uh, through which we can retrieve data from the service via specific requests. Contact IP, it is a uh, Russian social media contact on IP. And you can find documentation uh, by the link. Uh, we, viewed, uh, we looked um, on the specific methods friends get. And token it is a special code or string that can be used to access your account and retrieve data from the service uh, via the API. And now let's go um, and talk about how to create network object using the networks package and Giphy Lite. So uh, here we will uh, work with the networks package for Python, which allows you to create and work with network objects. And so let's create a network from the data we collected above using the API and then export afterwards. 
So first of all, we need to import networks as NX. Uh, it's just a simple uh, code. Uh, uh, oh, uh, OK. Um, yes, uh, and after that, we will uh, use our function from pandas h -roost, such as um, we will have this uh, type of uh, pandas data frame uh, and create uh, some and create some uh, network, uh, which we'll call G. Yes, uh, so we'll do it. Uh, and after that, uh, we will uh, have the uh, networks uh, graph object. So what can we study about our network? Uh, for example, it can be some network statistics, uh, its form, its size, uh, and other. So let's start with uh, some simplicity metrics. And after that, we will um, upload our network to the Gehulite and look uh, at uh, my friend's network. Uh, in it. So we have centrality metrics um, in network analysis uh, because it, it reflects how central these nodes are to the network. So how strongly or loosely they are connected to the rest. And we have a lot of uh, metrics of centralities, but the main are uh, presented here. For example, it is the degree centrality uh, for node X. It is the fraction of nodes it's connected to. It's a very simple measure, uh, but we have another's. Uh, others. Um, for example, between the central team, if we talk short and simple, it's how often can a node act as a link between other nodes. We have also a uh, closeness centrality. Uh, it is a measure how close this node is to the other nodes in the network. And uh, eigenvector uh, centrality. The more central nodes you are connected to, the more central you are. Uh, so here, here in the package networks, we have some functions that we can use uh, to calculate the degree centrality. Uh, and if we use it to G object, uh, we can see the uh, degree centrality for my friends. Uh, for example, here uh, we can see um, the degree centrality for my uh, other uh, Hasea, uh, another Hasea uh, teacher at your mind. So uh, or maybe for another, uh, for other uh, political science uh, students here at the FSCM. Uh, also, we can make something like this for between the centrality, for closing the centrality, and for eigenvector centrality. But uh, I think uh, uh, here it starts the most interesting part of this workshop. We will work with Gephi Light. Uh, it is a recently released service uh, from Gephi that can be used now online. And so uh, we will we need to go to the Gephi Light. Uh, yes, directly to the site. Wait uh, a bit uh, before it will. Um, yes. Uh, yes, and so we can uh, open our local graph that we saved before. Uh, I just need to say that uh, Gephi works with uh, Gephi. Uh, types of files and we saved it here from the G object that we created uh, using uh, networks. Uh, so what we need to do, uh, we open a local file. Uh, I just need to uh, click on open. Um, yes, to open um, and uh, upload this uh, object that I, saved be that I saved before. Yes, uh, and wait a little bit for uh, producing my network data. One second. Mm -mm. Yes. Well. Maybe from the second chance it will uh, work better. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just uh, starting from the uh, blank uh, space blank uh, page. But well, uh, we can just look at my uh, network of my friends. Uh, what we need to do here is to, first of all, uh, go to the uh, statistics. Here we uh, can calculate some statistics for the nodes. For example, we can calculate the degree, such as degree centrality that we uh, talked uh, before. Uh, yes, so first of all, we compute this matrix, and also uh, we need to compute our Lubian community detection matrix, as uh, it's allowed, uh, it allows uh, us to um well let's just go to the term uh and say that um one second 
uh, within community detection, just a method that allows us to find communities and detect based on the ages between those ages or absence of ages. Yes, um, so after we calculate some statistics, uh, we can go to the um, appearance and, for example, uh, just set color for nodes from modularity plus that we calculated with Luvian, uh, with Luvian community detection uh, algorithm. Uh, and also we can uh, do something with the filters. For example, we can uh, reject all nodes that are not so many popular, for example, to uh, leave only the most popular friends uh, in my Contactia uh, network uh, of friends. Uh, but anyway, uh, after that, we need to go to layout and select a layout algorithm. Here we have a lot of layout algorithms, uh, but uh, uh, one second. Yes, um, let's go with uh, an experiment with network uh, positions. For example, uh, you can uh, choose the random layout. Yes, one second. Uh, you will have uh, not so many interesting uh, network here, uh, but also uh, you can try something, uh, something uh, older, another. For example, silk roll, uh, silk roll layout. Yes, it's not. Um, well, here we have, uh, we can um, experiment with the filters and, for example, look only the most popular friends uh, of my friends in my network. Yes, uh, here we will have only uh, a few nodes, such as me, uh, you can see me here, uh, and some of my friends. But uh, I want to select another uh, layout algorithm. Um, I think it's circle back, yes. Uh, and we will go to the another. Uh, we will uh, reset our filters. Uh, and also, uh, I just produced this uh, network before, uh, and we can look uh, in it here. Uh, I just want to say that, uh, in general, network analysis is very interesting because uh, it allows you to uh, understand, to get some new data about the information. For example, I know uh, all of my contact friends, but uh, I don't know uh, how do they may be organized in some communities. But uh, using Luvian community detection, uh, we can see uh, a few communities here. For example, this orange um, points uh, is uh, students uh, or maybe teachers uh, from my political science, uh, Jose, uh, bachelor's degree, bachelor program. Uh, also, we have uh, another communities that um, uh, I participate in, for example, the yellow dots uh, is the student council of the higher school of economics. Uh, we have the uh, blue dots uh, is the friends from my uh, hometown, and also the green dots is some um, it's some um, some of my friends that I studied with uh, in the higher school. Yes, and so for me, uh, this method uh, worked. Uh, nice because uh, it allowed me to understand the um, communities that I'm that I'm participated in yes uh, and so it's very interesting um, just uh, uh, as a conclusion let's talk about some uh, what we can use this data for so for example if I want to spread my own meme or some news as much as possible between my friends and maybe friends of uh, their friends I can take only uh, 10 most central friends in my friends' network and ask them to publish this poll. Anyway, results of this experiment uh, would have been uh, better than in case if I had asked my not popular friends. And also, let's imagine a different situation. Uh, maybe I have decided to take on a serious mission and uh, reply to my friends. Then I can look at my friends' network and look uh, for which nodes uh, are missing ribs uh, edges between them. I choose the friends from the parts on the network uh, and call them for a general meeting. This lack of ages um, is called structural holes, and one of these terms can strike the structure of our network in social network analysis. So, in conclusion, social network analysis is great because it allows us to learn more about familiar things. Um, and uh, so, what does the list of uh, my friends' IDs and the list of their uh, friends' IDs uh, tell me? Nothing. But uh, we can build network data from this data and already see the networks of human relationships uh, in a much more visual way. 
So get into Masna and do lot of analysis because it's interesting. That's all. Thank you, Olika. Thank you very much. So that is really impressive. Maybe at a first glance, it looks overcomplicated actually because you operate with many programs many terms and you switch from like window to window from a browser to browser uh yes but uh when we get this final picture it requires a little bit of craftsmanship uh it requires a little work efforts uh, but it is manageable so what, what i want to say that it is manageable despite the fact that at a first glance it might look a little bit over complicated uh, i think my first question is uh, whether it is possible to have access to uh, this information i think you have sent the link already right in the chat to github so those who are interested uh, may go there follow this link and maybe scroll down and study the information thoroughly because so when we go right now with the video session uh, it is it might look a little bit fast but uh, if you go there to github uh, you will have enough time to explore and maybe study in details uh, and i assume that you also have links there on github to this publication yes. right so if you want to reproduce information about network of your friends you can use the data that uh, i attached uh, you can see it here uh, you can uh, use my ePrint notebook and uh, so uh, use get your contact uh, token uh, and just do the something but for your own uh, contact uh, network of friends okay okay so here we have the social media of contact this is a russian uh, social media, but pretty much the same algorithm may be used for other social media. Yes, so. uh, we can use some uh, other methods, some other techniques of uh, web scrapping. We can, for example, if we want to uh, scrape some data from the Twitter, uh, we can use the Twitter IP or scrape uh, data by ourselves uh, using some uh, Python uh, packages. Yes, so the algorithm is. Uh, pretty similar. Uh, you just need to uh, use uh, a set of uh, Python packages. You just need to um, specify some requests and after that you get and preprocess uh, some data to get um, the network data such as this. Uh, and also you can produce it uh, on the Gephelite site, for example. Okay, okay, great. So I believe that if we have any question about this session and network analysis, uh, whatever concerns our today's topic, you are free to ask Lika, you may turn on your microphone ask or write the question in the chat. Yes, and also, uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me with my uh, email that I uh, yes, that you can see here. Yes, yes. And uh, we have seminars in our research laboratory and uh, Lika has already been presenting part of this research, but uh, some other parts. Well, pretty much the same topic, yes, but some other parts. And I think we will continue to discuss that uh, during our summer school and Lika is also participating there. So we'll have different sessions different tools uh, so all the participants of the summer school will have great chance and great opportunity to look into different approaches tools methodologies which may be used for net social network analysis so uh, any question about this topic our today's seminar Okay, if we have no question on this topic, I think we may probably wrap up our session. Uh, Lika, thank you very much um, for such a wonderful presentation. It is really, really intense and packed, but I think uh -huh. it is very valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, sorry, I just uh, lost my internet connection. Uh, Violeta, can you uh, write uh, an email uh, for uh, my uh, mail i will answer uh, any of your questions um, after our seminar okay okay thank you thank you very much